I'm Alan Weiss, and this is The Writing on the Wall. Hi, I'm Alan Weiss, Writing on the Wall, episode 88. I call this New York, New York. You remember this. I mean, I, if I played the music, somebody would sue me, uh, you know, Ebb, uh, who wrote it, or, or uh, Liza Minnelli, or Frank Sinatra. Somebody's lawyers would sue me. But, you know, New York, New York. If you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. I love New York. I think it's the center of the universe. And I'm going to tell you why. Uh, right now in New York, cab drivers require directions. I said to a cab driver on 42nd Street, I'd like to go to Central Park South. I was dining at, uh, for lunch at Morea, a great restaurant on Central Park South. And he said to me, where is Central Park South? I said, well, it would be on the south end of Central Park. He said, where would that be? I cannot make this up. I said, do you know how the streets go 57, 8, 9, 6, like they count? He said, yeah. I said, go to 60th Street, turn right. Cab drivers don't know where anything is. The Palace Hotel don't know. Where is that? In New York, tourists, and that's anybody from outside New York, Connecticut, and New Jersey, stop when it says do not walk. I mean, can you imagine this? I remember being on the streets of Houston once. It was 114 degrees in the shade. Now, this is where they say, yeah, well, it's dry heat. Dry heat means that small animals explode on the sidewalk. 114 degrees, not a car in sight, and people are standing there waiting for the light to turn green. In New York, you can look down 6th Avenue. And by the way, this is not Avenue of the Americas. That's a tourist term. You can look down 6th Avenue, and you can see for two miles, no traffic. And people are standing there. It says, do not walk. I wonder if I put up a sign that said, give me your money, what would happen? The subways in New York are named very cleverly, very innovatively, after letters of the alphabet. <laughs> The A train, the B train, the C train, and so forth. I will tell you, I don't know if you'll get this, my favorite New York subway story. A guy is standing there, uh, the subways are coming and going, he's waiting for his train, and a guy comes tearing down the stairs and through the turnstile just as a subway's doors are closing. And the man says uh, to the man who's standing there, A, the man says C, and the other man says gracias and jumps on. Think about it, it's really a good story. Every vital escalator in New York will be out of order when you need it. Doesn't matter where you are, if you need it, it'll be out of order. All sold out plays have tickets available. If a place is sold out, it doesn't matter. You just ask the concierge or somebody in the know or a ticket broker, you will get tickets. Only out of towners think of a sold out play you cannot go to. Deli waiters in New York will argue with you. That looks like a great burger. I'm not serving you the burger. Do you want the corned beef or do you want the pastrami? I like the burger. We're not giving it to you. It takes longer to get from LaGuardia Airport to Manhattan than it takes to fly into LaGuardia Airport, and I don't care where you're coming from. But those are the rules of the game. Every cab in New York quits in the rain. Starts to rain, cabs go. They go back to the garage. No cabs in the rain, it's a law. Street vendors in New York have neon signs. They have power. They have lights. They have words that run across the bottom telling you what they have. They sell everything. There's one street vendor in New York. It's about 56th and 6th, I think where there's always a line down the block. Zagat talks about this guy. The mayor, now right now the mayor is Bloomberg, in case you're watching this on the archives, who knows who it will be, but the mayor right now is Bloomberg, and of course he changed his own succession. There's a two-term limit. Even Rudy Giuliani during 9-11 never went for a third term against the law. No, no, Bloomberg changes it. Because he's mayor? No, because he has skated eight zillion dollars. And now he's telling us what size drinks we can imbibe. New York, New York. In New York, however, I'll tell you two things. One is, people don't care where you're from, they only care where you're going. And the second is, they speak correctly. 